Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox. And if you're new, welcome. Today, I'm unboxing for you a Christmas in July package. Now, this comes from Angela, who is Love Pink Dragonflies. And I will link her information down below, along with all of the other girls who are in the swap. I was partnered with Angela, but there were a number of different partnerships participating in this swap and I was really happy to be partnered with Angela because I had been in a swap with her before but it was a mix and match where she sent to me but I hadn't had a chance to send to her so I was really happy to be able to exchange with her this time. So I'm just going to open up and show you what it is inside this box that she has sent to me. So I have to say it was kind of interesting doing a Christmas project in the summer. <laughs> At first I thought, well, it won't be any different because I usually work on my December daily all throughout the year. So quite often I'm working on Christmas in the summer. But this year or last year, I actually had my December daily done like in January or February. So it was um, the first year I hadn't been working on my December daily. So this was a fun project to, to do uh, instead of that. So this is the box. And I really love what she picked out for me here. This is beautiful. I will definitely reuse this. And I love the Christmassy non-traditional kind of colors like I love the the pinks and the almost like a teal bluish green and the silver oh and there's even sparkles inside I don't know if you can see that very fun beautiful okay so this is the card that she made for me look at this flower I bet you she made this out of ribbon. Either that or she has layered together a bunch of pieces, but I feel like this is homemade. This is very pretty. And just a little note from her there. So let's take a peek and see inside. So this is a five and five swap five handmade items and five purchased items. So I will just take, take these out and probably there'll be 10 little things wrapped up here. This must be something fragile. I absolutely adore the colors that she, oh, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely adore the colors that she has chosen for me. Oh, there's so many beautiful things. Okay, let's take these out. Hmm, interesting. All sorts of fun shapes and sounds. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Some little flag pins from Snow and Coco. Oh, I absolutely love Snow and Coco. They are my favorite. Oh, actually, this isn't Snow and Coco. This one is the Snowflake Collection. This one is Snow and Coco. But it's a, a good match, like that little snowman guy. That's funny. I've made her some of these, too. <laughs> oh, look at how pretty. Okay, look at how gorgeous this is down below here. Let's take everything out here. Look at that. Oh, there's a little ornament in there. There's three of these. Really neat. Very pretty. I love all these big pieces of confetti. Cute. Okay, so let's start with these items here. <laughs> get all those little confetti mixed in. <laughs> okay, so some of these are purchased items. Oh, that's cute. Those are really pretty. I 
um, never get stuff from this line because it's not something that's sold in Canada. So that's fun to get that. Or you only have got those in swaps. I love these stickers. This is very merry. I'm trying to think which of the collections this belongs to. Oh, it's Hey Santa. <laughs> which is what I thought maybe that it was. Very nice. Okay, so these are the two things that she made me here. And it looks like she also made me these really neat. This looks like a vellum. Wow, th <laughs> this looks so familiar. I've made something so similar, like the layering that she did on this piece. I think I can get it from this side, actually. Oh, it's on the paper. The layering that she did on this piece looks so similar to something that I would do with these same items. Uh, shows you what similar sort of styles we have. And then she has made it on. <laughs> this is funny. I did the same thing. These are the Tim Holtz rosettes that are so fun to work with. And she has decorated up a rosette for me there. And it's made out of vellum, which I really, really like. So she's done three different ones. And um, created these gorgeous little handmade embellishments. Beautiful. Okay. Let's start with the item that says no peeking. <laughs> I, oh, I just love, this is like the cutest little charms and beads. And it's got this little charm here and she's hung them off. <gasps> That's so neat. She's hung them off of this star that she has sent me some of. Oh. Everything's like a little falling out and making a beautiful mess. And this flips up and out pop her beautiful flowers. I love the layering and this is the perfect little center to add this gorgeous little rhinestone-y gem in the middle of them. I love the colors that she's chosen for this project and the beautiful envelope she's put it in. So this is really interesting. It is actually like, um, I'm trying to think of what the material this is, this plastic that she's stitched on. What a simple concept in theory to just take a paper, stitch on a pocket, put a fold, the details she's done have just made it outstanding, but the base of the project is really like a simple kind of concept that she's done up just fabulously. Look at this huge snowflake that she's done. I love this little tree on the sweater and the crinkled paper that's stitched very so slightly you can see like she's stitched all across and just a tiny bit is peeking out and that is really really cute so that's beautiful let's take a look at this so she has stitched oh together two of these crepe papers to create this really neat like garland type material that I can use for projects to come, which is great because I can just use a tiny little bit and she's already done all of the work to um, stitch together. She's got three different threads in there. Really cute. Okay. Snowman Mittens Hot Cocoa Happiness. Is there potentially some chocolate type thing in here? Just a guess. If the packaging is a hint. Oh, no. Oh, it was so heavy. <laughs> this is cute. <laughs> so there's a little folder here, an embossing folder. And then she's gifted me. Let's see if I can figure out what the dies are. This is fantastic. I love getting new dies. Let's see what this belongs to. What I'm imagining it is a set. Oh, I see. <laughs> when I first saw this, I felt like she die cut this herself, but it was such a pretty embellishment. I wasn't sure if she made it. 
So she has made that and then she has gifted me all of the items to make probably an ugly Christmas sweater, I'm guessing, which is such a funny term because quite honestly, I find the Christmas sweaters that are joked about being ugly as adorable, festive, a fun sort of holiday wear. So that's great. Oh, what a good idea. Oh, and this is a little like part of the sweater that you can add. This is too. Okay. Well, that is super. That's really, really nice. Yeah, I'll have fun piecing together items. And again, she's done this concept I absolutely adore where she's taken a piece of paper, stitched on a pocket. And this one with this gorgeous little banner up above. I love this little snow and cocoa guy and all the snowflakes underneath. This beautiful tool, so much texture, so much layering, so much fun. Okay, and what is in here? It's a little tree Ziploc bag. Oh, she has printed and cut snow and cocoa die cuts for me that is so thoughtful snow and cocoa is so hard to find I'm trying to think of how to open this up well i don't want to wreck the packaging so i'll open it at a different time but i can tell that that is what it is because i recognize that's how quickly i recognize this collection because it is my all-time favorite i really really love it so that is so thoughtful for her to create um, those little die cuts for me. I really appreciate that. And in along the same color themes, also oh, there you go. This is how this opens. So I see how that one probably opens too. These beautiful, oh, look at these flowers. Look at the iridescent pearls that she has put inside. I have some of her flowers right here <laughs> that I have sorted out that she has sent me from pre previous swaps. And I can just sort of like <laughs> lift the lid and add to my collection from Angela. That is so pretty. It's great. There's so much time and care that goes into each of these little flowers. She sent me so many. There's even some larger varieties. I'll show you them. Beautiful. Look at all those colors. I recognize these colors from a crepe paper line. Really, really pretty. And what do we have in here? Oh, she's made me some poinsettias. I love all these pretty packages she has. Look at the beautiful papers she's used. I think she's actually created a real like her own paper here. She's embossed it and then she's colored it with a gold and this like crystal type material. So pretty. All those poinsettias. Very special. I'm trying to think of what the five and five are <laughs> because she seems to have made me so many things. Okay, let's go for this beautiful pink wrapped jar of... Oh, sequins she sends me the best sequin mixes the last time she sent me a sequin mix i was so inspired i sat down and created with it right away and i love 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 that she has gone with a monotone theme that is so perfect i really enjoy working with like a variety of textures but all within a same sort of color like this one's the gold and this one's i'm not even like the mint green really love that that's so great and I always have a hard time finding sequins so thank you Angela and what is tucked away hiding in here 
Wow. <laughs> okay, this is this is such cute packaging. This is like a little light bulb. <laughs> and this is a mix of colors, but it happens to be some of my favorite colors. Again, the pinks, whites, golds, and mint greens. Like you couldn't have a more perfect um sequin mix than those together. So what fun. Look at that topper. Oh, I love how she's used her charms. What a smart idea. That is so pretty. Very, this is cute. And look, it actually even like stacks well together. <laughs> what is in here? Oh my gosh, she has absolutely spoiled me with sequin mixes and oh my heart like if i could pick one of my favorite things to get in a swap this would be it and um this again is a monochromatic pink which is perfect i absolutely adore the way she has packaged each of these little baubles so cute with these charms and this pink ribbon well that was Fun. Oh, here's something else, sort of. Uh, <laughs> don't we have any? <gasps> wow, this is so gorgeous and so generous. She has these beautiful bows. Angela, did you make these little bows? Oh my gosh, they are so perfect. She did. I think she made these because they are put together and stitched in the middle. Wow, and my favorite colors. Oh, look at the fun charms. I actually received charms from Angela before. I loved them so much that I haven't been able to part with them. We have, I have one of these cute little ones from her and because they're so cute, I've been sort of saving them because I only had one, but now I can actually maybe use one. <laughs> They're so adorable. <gasps> that Christmas tree. That is so exciting. Oh, look at the little present. Amazing. That is fun. I'm going to take you through this whole tower because... It is just like, oh my gosh. Did you wire wrap each of these beads? That is just, like I was admiring it on her packaging and now she has sent me some so I can make some of those same sort of packaging type ideas that she has created for me. And then this one at the end is very unique. I haven't seen anything like this one before. It's beautiful. Really like that. Wow, look at all of the, oh my gosh, look at the tiny little ones. There's some, they're so small. Oh, that's, these things just like make my heart happy. Those are beautiful things that she has created for me. And like, what a perfect little match with the flowers that she created for me. Like, all these things just make my heart so happy. Wow, that is amazing. Amazing, amazing. What is hiding in here? Oh, the little lovely mess falling out. Wow, look at this. It, <laughs> so creative. She's taken a spool and decorated it with a stick on top and made a little Christmas tree with one of her handmade flowers and all this gorgeous layering. So creative, unique and original. And like the perfect little decoration in all my favorite colors. Like this will go ugh, alongside all of my Christmas decor. Beautiful, Angela. Okay, and last but not least, I saved this fragile bubble wrap one. Let's 
see what is hiding inside here. Oh. Wow. <laughs> this is the most perfect ornament. I'm not sure where she purchased this from. I had seen these beautiful little deer, like these antique deer at, I guess it was Target. I haven't actually seen them at Target, but I've seen people purchase similar kind of ideas at Target. And I thought, wow, what an, oh, it is, look, it's Target. <laughs> I thought, what an amazing ornament. It was stunning and it made me wish that we had a Target to shop at. My Christmas tree is actually, for the past couple of years, it is decorated in all of these colors and like it's going to match perfectly. And this little deer is going to go on my Christmas tree this year. And I will think of Angela and this Christmas in July swap <clears throat> and all, <clears throat> all the lovely ladies that are a part of it. I really recommend that you check out their channel. So I'm going to link first Angela down below with the link to her channel. She will be unboxing what I sent to her. So you can check out that as well as all of the other women who are in this swap so that you can see these beautiful Christmas in July projects that have been created by these lovely paper crafters. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Angela, so much for the amazing handmade creations, the thoughtful gifts. You've hit all of my loves just perfectly on point, And I really appreciate everything that you sent to me. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again next time.